Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, Karibu Sana. So from the title of this video, you already know that we are unboxing a drill. I've never felt so alive in my life. This is a 710 watts hammer drill. It has two functions. It's a hammer and it's also a drill. And you can use it as a screwdriver as well. It is a 13 millimeter T-chuck. 13 millimeter, I mean the depth that it goes into either concrete or steel, but in wood, it can go up to 25 millimeters. It has a forward reverse function and the RPM is 2,900 RPMs per minute. That's revolutions per minute. This is from Tolson. It's a 95 piece uh, hammer drill. So let me open it with you and see what's inside. If you've watched my previous video, you know that we opened this, but we didn't go into the detail of everything. So let's get the tool set open. So this is how it looks inside. It has this protector over here, and then it has a manual. So alive in my life, cause you make me come to life every time. I'm free, oh, and I'm loving all that you do, can't you see? So I'm going to take you through every single piece in here. So let's start with the biggest, of course. So this is the the drill. That's how it looks. It has a three plug adapter, but when oh, when you remove it, it looks like that. So I think that's really cool because most Kenyan adapters are three plugs. So. That's how it looks, and then it has a key over here. I will show you the purpose of this later on when we want to start the drill. And then the next thing that it comes with is a spirit level, the horizontal, vertical, and this is a corner one. It also comes with screws these are wood screws and then it has some plastic plugs so this go like in the wall that's how it looks it has a bigger size and a tinier size so this goes in the wall and then you put the screw in it and then just tighten it inside so these are 40 pieces 40 pieces, 20 plastic ones and 20 uh, wood screws. So this is the hammer. It's an eight pound hammer. It's really nice. I like the grip. And then the next thing we have is a side handle. So this goes in the, you open it. It's, you open it like that, make it loose. And then it goes in the drill and then you just tighten. I don't know if you can see. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. So you just tighten that to make it really snug. So the importance of this is just to make it really sturdy. And then this, you use it to measure the depth of how deep you want your hole to be. So you can adjust it like that. So if you want the hole to be this deep, you can adjust it using the depth gauge. The next thing that comes inside is a combination pliers. This is a 160 millimeter one. And then this is a measuring tape. It's how long is it? 
it's a uh, three meter or 10 feet 16 millimeter um measuring tip so that's how it looks it's really long so much for doing that then the bottom part is done now we go to the next part so up here we have a screw bit holder so this can go into the drill oops this can go into the drill and then now you put the type of screw that you want to drive into either your wood or any other material that you want to and then the next thing it comes with is a uh, it has two screwdrivers this is a flat i don't know if you can see that one is a flat and then the other one is a star screwdriver and then the next thing is a nut screwdriver and then this tiny thing that was here is a screwdriver bit holder so you just if you're doing it manually you can just put it in there and then these are screwdriver bits the two the two ones these 20 pieces and then we have a a universal a universal screw bit adapter so this you can put they're all magnetic so when you put it in there and then you have these um these are called sockets socket sets so these are called socket sets this you can put in here there we and you can either remove your <laughs> nuts or yeah tighten them up so this you can use any type of socket it goes in the in the screw driver it goes in this so this can fit any of the six these are six pieces so this is a this is a voltage tester i have never used this in my life but that's a voltage tester and then these are the drill bits so these are masonry or concrete drill bits and then these are hss they can drill into steel or metal and then these are wood bits then what we have here is a 200 millimeter wrench oh god this is a 200 millimeter wrench then what we have here is a snap off blade knife that's the maximum it can go when you are done it's i don't know what to call it but once this is not sharp anymore you can just break that off and use the next piece of knife i don't think there is anything else i have left out in this toolkit So I am going to show you how to connect a drill and how to operate a drill. We will be drilling a hole and fastening a screw. Let me just take you to the drill first. So this, there is this knob over here. I'm going to bring you closer so that you can see. So this knob, it will tell you how fast or how slow you want the drill to operate. And then over here there is a an arrow that points backwards or facing you the operator of the drill so that is called the reverse function so that is used when you want to unscrew a screw if it makes sense or to get the drill bit out of whatever that you're drilling into and then this other side now facing the front of the drill that's now the fastening um, it's the forward function so that is either the function that will screw the drill bit into the whatever your screw 
whatever that you want to drill a hole into or whatever that you want to fasten the screw into so you either turn it like that so this is this side is the forward function when you bring it this side is the reverse function and then we have a lock button over here so this lock button it will when you press it it will just go into in that one speed and then anything else that you need to know oh up here this side has a hammer function and then this side you have a drilling function so you just move that okay so when you're drilling let's say you have put it into the forward function this there is a pressing whatever so this is like the start button of of the drill so let's say that now you want to put your drill bit into the chuck so this you can just rotate this to get the teeth out you see when if i go anti-clockwise the teeth come out the teeth go back and then now they are out so you would want to do that according to the size of your drill bit so let's put the drill bit in there you want to make sure that the drill bit is not you see what's happening here the drill bit is not stuck over there because the drill won't start and you'll either break the drill bit or damage your drill so you want to make sure you tighten it while the drill bit is at the at the center for you to know whether the right side is for tightening or loosening there's an acronym for that so once you put the screw going right is righty tighty so if you go right that means you are tightening the drill bit you see and then when you unscrew it or when you loosen it it's lefty loosey so it becomes loose so once you tighten it righty tighty so once the whole thing moves then you know that the drill bit is secure so we are going to drill into a piece of wood so we are going to use the adapter i have my socket over here so i am just going to plug it in uh, and then put it into minimum speed make sure it's in the drilling function and then in the forward function once it's tight let's see if now it can drill into wood so just put it on and then make sure your hands are not touching this because they will burn so just do that okay now this handle you can use this to guide you so just tighten the handle so this is tight you can so now that it's in the maximum speed let's reduce the speed you see even the force has reduced so when you're drilling into something i would suggest you start slow and then now go away building the speed until to the maximum you see? so if you're screwing something always use the minimum setting so that a screw to not break and the wood to not split okay so let's get a piece of wood drill a hole into it and then screw a screwdriver so now you have your drilling tape it's connected to the socket it's on you have your piece of wood in place so i'm going to step on it because <laughs> the one who would have been helping me hold this piece of wood is shooting the video so let's drill the hole the function is in forward motion over here and then this is in drill function i'm going to start slow and then build the speed as i go now 
now we are at maximum speed. Now when you want to get the drill bit out, so just get your key and then you, you see, now everything is loose, you just do that and it's out. So the next thing we're going to do is put the, what is this called, the bit holder, now in here. Now that it's tight, we'll get now a, a screw and put it over here. So first of all, we get the, what are these things called again? The screw bits. So according to the screw that you're using, and what I have here is, um, what I have here is uh, the plus kawaida screws. So I'm going to look for a, uh, bit that fits well and it's this one so i get the bit out this front part here is magnetic so when you put it gets it's snug so you just put your screw over there and then so when you drill a smaller bit a smaller hole than the screw that you're using that's called a pilot hole it rather guides you into where you want the screw to go so i'm just going to put it on and then drive this remember to use the minimum setting so let's drive it you see there you go to remove the screw use the reverse function So it's completely out. You see? So that is how you operate a drill. I am also learning most of the features of this drill, but those are some of the features that I thought I would share with you. I have not yet used the hammer function, but when I do, I will let you know how that turns out to be. So as I was drilling into the wood, the wood is hard so i'm going to use this uh chuck key to tighten over here so that i can put the screw secure the drill bit secure because if it's not tight it will either get stuck into the wood or it would just come out so i have tightened you just put this in here into one of these holes and then you rotate it if this thing is moving all of it you know it's too tight let me loosen it so that you see you see right now it's loose but when i tighten it everything you should hear that sound so now once everything is tighty tighty now let's drill into the wood you want to go uh you want to go a bit slowly another problem is if you see that the teeth are not coming out that means the teeth are stuck in the chuck and that's where this thing comes in handy you just put that in and hold the drill down and you loosen it a bit you see so when you loosen it the teeth come out <laughs> the first time I was opening this drill, I encountered so many problems, but I learned along the way. And I know you will encounter some of these problems, but I have shared some of the tips on how to fix it. So if you have any other questions, kindly comment down below about the drill and I will be glad to share my answers or my thoughts with you. So why I went with a hammer drill function, I wanted something that is multi-purpose because I don't want to be buying another drill um, anytime soon. So I wanted something that can really do concrete steadily. I wanted something that can drill into wood and I wanted something that can still drill into metal. So that's why I got the 
triple function and also something that can still drive screws into wood so that's why i went with this particular set uh there are so many sets out there there's dera there's wave there's total there's inco um but why i went with this is because of the reviews that i read online i also did quite a bit of research to see the difference of all those brands and also the price of this was really reasonable because this was going for 6700 shillings on jumia and others were ranging from 8000 up to 10000 and i wasn't going to spend that much on a drill other drills you would get that they come with two types of the drill bits let's say it comes with the metal and the wood bits but it doesn't come with the masonry drill bits if you want a multi-purpose one that is still powerful enough to do like major major furniture or drilling into concrete go with an impact drill because of the power so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you learned something as much as i have uh, i hope you enjoyed the video as well please comment down below if you would be interested to learn anything else or if you would like to see me do more of this equipment unboxing stuff and i will be glad to do it and please subscribe to my channel we are trying to grow this channel to 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2022 and i would be really glad if you came on board and helped me out so thank you so much for watching i hope i see you on my next one bye